वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट एट करवर्ड सरफेस सो बिफोर एंटरिंग इनटू आवर टॉपिक फर्स्ट वी नीड टू नो व्हाट इज रिफ्रैक्शन इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट रिफ्रैक्शन ऑन प्लेन सरफेसेस सो वी नो दैट द लाइट ट्रैवल्स फ्रॉम एयर ग्लास एंड वाटर एटसेट्रा these substances from which the light travels are said to be transparent okay these are the media for these substances are media for the light because the light passes through them and these substances are divided into two types or these media are divided into two types one is rarer media one is denser media what is the differences between this rarer media and denser media for example let us take air consider air we know that that light travels in the air so the particles of the air is away from each other whereas if you observe the glass or water i am taking here this is the air and this is the water so in the particles particles of the water are closer than the air so here the air is said to be rarer media and water is said to be denser media similarly if you consider glass we know that the light also travels from glass so if you consider the particles of the glass glass is a solid we know that so in the solid any solid the particles are much closer to each other so when you compare this glass with water so water is said to be rarer media for light and glass is said to be denser media so this is about denser media and rarer media simply the rarer media the light travels but the particles of that media are much far from each other whereas the particles of denser media closer than rarer media so in this class we are going to discuss refraction so the refraction is the phenomena whenever it occurs whenever the light enters from rarer media to denser media or denser media to rarer media so then what happens whenever the light enters from a rarer media to denser media for example here two media are there the first one is let us say this is the air the particles of air are much far from each other and here i am second medium i am taking water if you compare with air the water particles are close so here air is rarer and water is denser and this surface or surface of water upper part of the water is a refracting surface so then what happens if a light incidence on this surface so we know that both are transparent then what happens the light enters into water so here draw a normal line we know that this is angle of incident then now what happening whenever the light ray enters into water it is denser media the particles of denser media are much closer due to that the velocity of this light ray the velocity v of the light ray decreases due to that the light ray bends towards the normal line so and here this angle is said to be angle of refraction the phenomena of bending 
light ray whenever it enters into rarer media to denser media or denser media to rarer media is said to be refraction. Similarly, for example, here glass media, glass medium and here is water and this surface, let us assume that surface is separating that two media. Then what happens here glass is taken as denser media because the particles of glass when we compare with water much close to each other. Now what happening a light is incidenting on the surface which surface separating denser and rarer media. So this is the denser media. Now here the normal line then what happens here the particles are less because the water is rarer media. Whenever the light ray enters into rarer media, the velocity speed of the light increases. Due to increase, the light ray bends away from the normal line. And this phenomena, bending of light ray is said to be refraction. And the angle of refracted light ray which making with normal line is angle of refraction and here it is angle of incident this is about refraction and in this class we are going to discuss the refraction of light at curved surfaces so now let us discuss the behavior of light whenever it incidents the surface the curved surface which separating two media denser media and rarer media so let us enter into the topic the behavior of the light which enters which incidence on curved surface which separating denser media and rarer media so for example let us take here a curved surface this is the concave surface and let us say this is the denser media say glass this is the glass and here pole and principal axis first media is let us say a and the second medium is the glass now this is the center of curvature now what happens a parallel light ray incidenting on this curved surface which separating the denser media and rarer media. Then here is the normal line. We know that the radius of curvature itself normal line. This is the normal line. Then what happens? So the light is entering into denser media. So the light bends towards the normal line. Whenever the light ray enters from rarer media to denser media, Due to decrease in the denser media, the velocity of the light decreases. Due to decrease of velocity or speed, the light bends towards normal line. So this is whenever the light ray enters on curved surface by traveling in rarer media and entering into denser media. Then if it has convex surface then what happens so same but that surface curved surface is now convex air rarer media and glass denser media a parallel light ray incidenting on the convex surface and it has center of curvature and radius of curvature itself normal line so this is a normal line angle of incident and then what happens it is entering into denser media so the light ray bends towards normal line so this is angle of refraction similarly so light ray is incidenting on concave surface but the first medium is denser and the second medium is rarer then what happens so this is the principal axis a light ray 
traveling parallel to the principal axis and let us say this is the center of curvature and here is the normal line so then what happening here the light is first traveling in the denser media now entering into air means rare media here it is angle of incident the light ray bends away from the normal line so this is angle of refraction this is refracting light ray refracted light ray so here once observe same both pictures are same but only the medium is changed first is uh, the light ray is uh, uh, traveling in the rarer media and here traveling in the denser media both are incidenting on concave surface but the behavior is different here the light ray in the denser media bending towards the normal line here the light ray is moving away from the bending away from the normal line in the rarer media because the speed of the light ray increasing and similarly if the light ray first travels in the denser media and incidenting on convex surface let us say this is the convex surface and glass air so the light ray is traveling parallel to the principal axis so here is the center of curvature so this is the this is a normal line and let us say this is angle of incident and here the light ray is entering into rarer media then what happened this light ray moves away from the normal line because entered into rarer media this is angle of refraction so this is the behavior of light rays whenever they incident concave or convex or curved surface then it bends towards normal line and away from the normal line based on the the light enters into the media if it denser it bends towards the normal line if it is a rarer media then what happens the light bends away from the normal line okay this is the refraction refraction of light the behavioral light on curved surface whenever it incidents on curved surface thank you